On today's episode of Fly Hacks, we are going to answer the age-old question of what came first, the fish or the egg? I have mail. It says, Dear Fly Hacks, will you tie something pretty? Will from Colorado. Will from Colorado. <sighs> yes. Yes, I will. But first, uh, I want to show you a little cool little nifty trick with the uh, uh, microtubing. So what you do is you, you find some microtubing, whatever microtubing you've got. Uh, I mean, or you could go buy some. That's a really great choice. Pinch it off and twist it together and it'll develop a kink and start growing. And when it grows, then you can, you can pinch it off at the bottom and then throw your thread over it and boom, you're done. Uh, it makes a really cool way to tie a fly without having to have the entire hook shank be the fly. It's a great way to extend the bodies of your flies. Not a good way to uh, uh, add length to a dry fly, definitely, because it'll sink. So the mitosis egg, it's an epoxy fly with a glass medium. Uh, what we're doing is we're allowing light to penetrate through the epoxy into the glass, reflect off the glass, and then in the inside of the epoxy, down through the glass and back out. So you're going to have a lot of reflections within a short distance. Also, it has less resistance in the water when it sinks. Because it has less resistant, resistance, it sinks faster. But it's a really simple fly. And I wanted to do this to kind of get the ball rolling on some four-dimensional stuff. See what you guys do. Hell, send me pictures. You guys know where I'm at on Facebook. Post some pictures up of the, some of the, even some of the flies that uh, I've tied on the show that you want to kind of show off to your buddies and be like, hey, look at that. Or show off to me. That's kind of even cooler. It makes me feel really special. Like when I get an email or two. <laughs> I got an email. Today we're going to be tying a mitosis egg. The hook is a Tiemco 2499 SPBL. And uh, that is a really cool hook. Nice big gap uh, to kind of accept the beads here. You can use a size 16, 2487, which is, it's kind of tilted, but it's got about the same gap, a little longer shank, and pretty similar hook. But this one's way better. <clears throat> the beads are a Spirit River Salmon Pink, and they've got kind of an iridescent thing on the outside, which I find really cool. And uh, we're using an 8 aught orange Vivas thread, which this stuff is like magical. So these, I haven't attached these beads or anything yet. They're just kind of floating there. We're going to start right behind the head of the, or the eye of the, the hook here. Wrap about a bead length there and wrap back over. I'm going to cut this guy off. Yes, I could tear it off, but it seems very barbaric. Now, your uh, beads are gonna be sitting like this. So what you do is you take your thread and you wrap around behind the bead and it captures that bead. Sometimes, sometimes it does not. It captures that bead and then you can just kind of force it forward with your finger there. And you want this to be just behind the, the eye of the hook. You don't want it to be uh, too close because then your uh, goo will go into that eye. So the second bead, do the same thing as you did in the last one. Kind of wrap it back behind there. Come on, I know you want to. And then push it up against that bead, give it a couple wraps behind, and go back to the center. You get back to the center, give it a few whip finishes here. You don't really need to do this, but I like to because it spreads the beads out a little bit. And it kind of gives it more of a three-dimensional feel to it crazy so far right that I cut off my thread and I am done with that portion of the fly the next step is simple you get the clear cure goo this is just regular brushable clear cure goo you don't need super thin hydro or whatever just buy the giant bottle um, and everything will be okay now we're just filling in the gaps of the beads. I'm not, I'm just putting a coat on there and I'm filling in the gaps. That's it. I'm going to take my scissors and just kind of spread that out a little bit. Now if you use hydro it'll level itself out much more quickly but I like the brushable for the amount that it lays down in 
in the last portion of this process. So you filled that gap, give it some light, and blow out the sensor in your camera. You can see where I, I looped over because it's orange and it reacts to this ultraviolet light. Now that's just phosphors, it's not uh, UV reflectance, and maybe we'll talk about that in a tip. And then you get another coat of clear cure goo. And you get them on there nice and nice and thick. That'll work. It's gonna cover the beads and also kind of fill in the gap between the hook and the bead to keep this from filling with water. Uh, because if you fill it with water, it'll get cloudy inside. Or if it becomes filled with water, rather. Just gonna fill that out and it'll be kind of oblong. It's all right. Hit this with the light again and then one last thing to go from really awesome to incredibly awesome. So we're gonna use Sally Hansen's uh, Ultimate Shield. This is that same top coat I was using in the last episode. I love this stuff because it's, uh, it puts a flexible coat of uh, finish. So if you slam this up against a rock, chances are it's not going to uh, break, it's not gonna snap. It'll just mush. Mushing is good. I'm just gonna kinda wait for this to get level and that's the whole fly right there. Really cool looking on the inside, great when it's under sunlight, not under these uh, false lights. All right, totally awesome trick for removing your fly from the vise uh, without messing with that glue because it's still not dry yet. So I'm gonna get the top of this box that I used, or that the hooks were in. And I'm gonna take the corner, you can see I've already done it to one. I'm gonna take the corner and I'm gonna force that hook through there, just like that. And then let go of my vise. It's not touching anything, it's perfectly okay. Thank you for watching today's episode of Fly Hacks. Uh, as usual, you can comment or subscribe or like this video if you do in fact like it. Uh, otherwise, uh, go tie some flies and hell, send some uh, pictures over to the Fly Hacks page on Facebook. That'd be cool. Just cuss.